Hey guys, welcome to Drawing with Abby. In this video, we're going to be doing a draw along in Clip Studio Paint on my Samsung tablet. We're going to be covering two characters that have recently celebrated a anniversary last week. Of course, I'm talking about Superman and Lois. This video is going to cover the sketching portion of that illustration. And in another video, we'll cover the inking and color movements. So let's get at it. Right, so we're going to start off by using a soft round brush. Now this is a brush that I imported from Photoshop into Clip Studio Paint. And that's because I've experimented with the Clip Studio Paint's uh, default pencil brushes and don't really like them. They don't really have like the softness I'm looking for, especially at this blocking stage. Uh, if any of you guys know of any really good pencil brushes, let me know. I'd love to review those those and sort of figure test them out or test that you can work for my particular style drawing. Now to talk a little bit about my sketching process, I always start off by blocking out my shapes with a larger brush. Um, this way I can quickly figure out uh, the composition, the mass of the characters, um, and plot in like rough general shapes for the anatomy without getting super detailed yet. And then what I do is I grab the soft eraser gently erase my, those blocky lines and then use a smaller pencil brush to go in and uh, refine those details. Now this is a method or a process that I learned while drawing traditionally on paper. You would take like the side of your pencil brush and sort of block out your shapes or slightly erase them with a kneaded eraser and then with the tip of your pencil making sure that it's nice and sharp you would go in there and refine those details. So I'm carrying that same process over into this digital drawing. And the only difference really is that you're using the brush size of your pencil brush to switch between a larger brush size so you can cover big blocky shapes really easily um, with that pencil brush and then scaling that down. Now, a lot of people try to experiment with different types of brushes like marker brushes, for example. I've done that myself um, and you can get varying effects like that. So I would encourage you guys to do the same. Go out there, experiment with some of those bigger brushes in your tool set, like a uh, charcoal brush, for example, or like I said, a marker brush to so block your shapes out first. And then you can go switch back to like an HB pencil brush or the equivalent um, and refine the details in the sketch. Another thing too that comes up often with sketching is the question of references. So I know there is a school of thought out there with um, some developing artists or, or artists that, um, that are just figuring things out that feel like uh, drawing with references is somehow a cheat. Um, it's really not. And I understand where sort of that thought process comes from. Do you see artists that you really uh, look up to and admire and you see when they do their live drawings there's it looks like they're just drawing it straight from their heads in some cases they are but that's after many 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 times of practicing that particular pose or that particular look um, those same artists if they were to take on a pose that they're not familiar with or don't draw very often or an angle that they're not familiar with i guarantee you that they are working out those shapes and, and trying to figure things out with the aid of references. In my particular case, I'm not using a photo reference for this. Instead, I'm using um, these TV League uh, figures that I purchased a couple of years back. Um, I love them. I think they're fantastic. A great feature of them is the fact that they um, are very bendable, very posable, and they have this latex skin over them that uh, allows you to see in the like rough anatomy. It's not super detailed. It's no replacement for like an actual human figure or some stock photography, but um, it's a guess the job done for me. I want to talk a little bit about here. This is the face draw sketching the faces. Um, one of the things that um, that I spend a lot of time practicing and learning is understanding the planes of the face. Once you understand your planes, um, you're able to manipulate the angles and, and the shape of your head. Um, I know when a lot of artists uh, learn how to draw, you go through that process of learning how to draw shapes and learning how to draw the shapes from different angles, which is great. Those are definitely things you need to learn. But I think some things that a lot of artists miss out on is uh, manipulating those shapes, stretching those shapes, 
and uh, and playing around with them. And face, the face is a great example of that because adding a slight expression to your face can deform different aspects of the face. Like for example, adding a slight smile to Superman here uh, means that you're going to push up the cheek a little bit and that's going to deform the eyes at the corner of the mouth um, as it pushes uh, the cheeks up. Those eyes are going to be a little bit more, more narrow as that, that flush pushes up against um, those eyelids. So those are like slight things that you can look out for and add those details to sell those expressions. And you only really have full control over that if you understand how to manipulate the shit by stretching out a rectangle or morphing a, um, a sphere into more of an oval shape. And that same principle applies to drawing hands here. Um, drawing those hands at different angles is just not a matter of just manipulating that shape in terms of space, but also morphing the shape of of those shapes or morphing the uh, outline of those shapes. So here you can see that I spent the most of my time just figuring out the anatomy and figuring out the poses before I jumped into adding any costume details. And that's um, that's a technique I've, I've learned over the years. Um, it's it's really annoying to invest all that time of, uh, you know, maybe outlining that Superman S shield and, and only to realize that uh, the angle of the chest is wrong and I really don't like that and then I have to redraw all of that. Um, it's much better to just focus on your shapes, focus on your anatomy, focus on your pose. Um, and then when you're really super happy with that, then you can start uh, working on the details such as costumes or, or expressions or things like that. And as you can see here, I use my hairbrush to erase it again. Um, and again, I'm going a little bit smaller with my brush size. I think I went from like a six pixel brush down to a three pixel brush at this point. Um, and that's just so I can start refining those details even further. Uh, as you can see here, I have some more details in the eyes and the lips, uh, sort of refining some of those shapes there. Um, I'm always, always trying to question uh, everything that I put down on the page. I just try not to take everything for granted and I'm um, just trying to be critical of every step of the process. One thing I want to note is that this drawing is um, sped up by about three times the speed. Um, so if you're watching this and seeing like how quickly I'm getting through this, um, that is by no means my actual drawing speed. Um, I'm just speeding this up. Um, so that it's at a reasonable runtime and not just sitting there looking, being bored. Um, another thing to note is that I am drawing this on my Samsung Tab S9 Plus, uh, which is a new device that I got. I used to draw on a, a Tab uh, S6 Lite, so it's a big upgrade between those two devices. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to create a review of that particular device. Um, if that's something you guys are interested in, just let me know in the comments below. Um, and that will let me know if that's something that you guys actually want me to sort of break down my experience with those so far. I've had it for about two months now and um, I, uh, I've drawn a fair bit of illustrations with it since then. So here you can see again, refining those details, erasing what I don't want and do it. I'm not doing a full erase, just a light erase. So I can see a hint of those lines underneath. Um, and then amending the details. And like here, hair is a perfect example of that. With hair, you just wanted to find the general shape of it first, as you saw earlier. And now I'm at the details uh, stage, I can start adding in hints of more um, finer details of like the, uh, the hair strands rather than just the general shape of the hair. And here's the final sketch of the illustration featuring Superman and Lois. If there's anything about the sketching phase that I didn't cover here, please let me know in the comments below and I'll happily discuss it in a future video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. And until next time, keep drawing.